When winter sweeps across Door County, it arrives on a howling wind. Some days you're here before your truck warms up. Fishing partners Will Henriksen and John Kessel leave at sunrise from the shores of Sister Bay. All set, John. Go for it. Get on the ice about 7 o'clock in the morning, and then it's a cold, bitter ride out there. Out there is a two-mile trek onto ice and into no man's land. The road to work is cold and bumpy. Tree limbs mark the route and warn of danger. Probably the hardest part of my job is dealing with the weather. It changes quick and one minute it'll be calm and next it's scaling and it gets dangerous on the water. This time of year, Will's office is a shanty on the ice where he gets the wood stove going and gets to work running his commercial ice fishing venture. Being on the water day in and day out, some of the most amazing picture-worthy sunrises and sunsets I get to see every day. I enjoy the winter season and ice fishing because it's kind of my thing. We'll usually lift about six to eight, maybe 10 nets a day. And I mean, we're hoping for three, 400 pounds. Service. I mean, we'll be happy just if we see fish. The catch of the day is whitefish. There's one. Well, how old are you two? The easiest way to get them out is clearing their heads and just kind of pushing them through. Sometimes it's easier than it looks. Easy until one of these ends up in your net. They're kind of like a bottom feeder, but a lot of places want them and use them for like Friday fish fries and whatnot. Uh, this is called a burbot. Burbot or eel pout. It goes by many names. But on the menu of those fancy restaurants, they're called lawyers. We're able to supply almost 25 different businesses with fish and I mean, it's all local and we process it and deliver it and it's on your plate the same night. Will knows these waters well and got an early start. Growing up, my dad was a commercial fisherman. As a kid, he used to take my car seat and put it on the dash of the boat and take me with him. So I've been on a boat my entire life. For Will, this is a lifelong dream, and it's been a lifelong friendship with John. Went to high school and everything together, and then now we do this together. Out here, it's like it's just the two of us, we, and we get along pretty well, so there's no real arguing or nothing. So now we'll pull it back underneath and get ready to lift the other one. One net down, five more to go. The nets are lowered 65 to 70 feet to the depths of Green Bay. There you go, right to the bottom. The nets stand 15 feet high and extend out 100 yards in both directions from the shanty. A guideline is tied to the net so it can be hauled in and then fanned out again as John pulls the rope back across the ice. Once the nets are dropped... Ready? They drag the ice shanty to another hole farther out on the ice where they can retrieve two more nets. It's proving to be a good day of fishing and work. They end up with a hundred out of the first twos. I mean, that's good fishing for us. Stories of the old guys, they used to set a hundred nets in a winter. If they got to fish every net, they were happy. Just like the old guys before them, all the work out here is done by hand. Oh, it's a tough lifestyle, and I mean, you're working your butt off for every penny you make. So. Yeah. If it was easy, there'd be more people doing it too. Handling the nets can be brutal in bone-chilling, ice-cold water. The worst part's just the dampness from the water. You get them a little bit damp, and all of a sudden the cold sinks right in. Cold hands, 
but a warm heart out here on the ice. This is life in rural Dora County. It's peaceful, you know, everyone knows everyone and everyone has each other's back. It's my home, it's my source of employment. It's, I mean, it's where I love to be. Thank you.